Well, welcome back, everybody. Smith here. Welcome to another episode of Jurassic Craft Fossil and Archaeology Mod and Paleocraft. And last time we uh, did the front of house as such, or we did the front of the Innovation Centre. Uh, but I'm going to do something else this time. Many of you have been asking to put in uh, the gyrosphere. Hmm, yeah. And uh, interesting, I've been working out where to put it. Uh, because the place where it might be close to is the plesiosaurs, but uh, I think there's not enough room there to do it. So I'm going to put it sort of bang central. And also we're going to introduce a new dinosaur this episode. We are going, well, two, because both the Jurassic Craft and uh, Fossils and Archaeology have this uh, lovely creature called the Gallimimus. So we'd better get over and go and get some eggs. Uh, yeah, we've got some eggs, done some eggs. The uh, T-Rex is still happy in here. Uh, lots more to do. Uh, but I thought I'd do a small build because I've been concentrating on the big builds and uh, that is long term. I'm going to keep coming back to that, uh, do a separate episode. But loads of people have been asking for these creatures, so I thought it's about time. And the uh, gyrosphere station is really diddy it's really small and it's a uh, quite an easy build really to do it won't take us very long and while we're doing it we can grow the gallimimus now gallimimus in the jurassic craft mod uh sort of comes and fits and starts eg uh yeah it comes it's you get dna but then you get none for a while and then you get some more now hold on i need to get rid of some of this stuff which I don't want because it, oh, I'll get rid of it once I get there and put it in the chest uh, yeah uh, I need to get rid of some of this stuff so if we have how many have we got uh, one two three four five uh, six and we got six slots of the other type as well we can what I'll do is come out come back and get the rest and bring them in as well uh, population explosion I know but uh, oh my word I forgot how many of these I had and in the fossil and archaeology mod they're really well I've had loads of them loads and loads and loads uh, so we've got one two three four five six of each and I'm not sure how uh, these will spawn in so we shall see uh, I need to go and uh, let's go and drop off some of this stuff and uh, uh, I need some st oh well, I'm going to use some sandstone for the pathway. I need some uh, do an archway and some fencing. It's pretty pretty simple uh, to do this one. I say the least. Let's just get. I don't want. Oh, uh, is there any steps there? No, there isn't any steps. Smooth sandstone. We'll have that. Uh, I think I'm going to use oak for this. Probably need some dirt because I want to do that. Uh, oh, I'll grow some trees as well. Perhaps I've actually want to get down there and put all this stuff in the the kit. So let's go out to Stegosaurus. So slash wall. I think can't remember whether I used a capital. Oh no. And <laughs> so this is the wart. What is that doing under there? glitching stegosaurus very sad uh, yeah we do get this sort of thing every time I load the map it sort of goes out uh, hey hey some more stegosaurus coming oh brachiosaurus ankylosaurus and some more stegos over here this is the new one the new uh, new models uh, for stegosaurus uh, for fossil and archaeology because you've got the yellow ones, these ones, and the old green ones over here as well. So we've got three different models there, three different colours. They are really cool. I like more colours. Uh, we like more uh, dinos. So, right, if you want to run round in a gyrosphere, then you need sort of a valley. We have a valley here. We have the valley. Uh, and basically, I'm going to build this. Uh, the valley is the ideal location. Uh, I'm going to put, I'm going to put a track in. Uh, the big problem is though, uh, the track will not be able to run uh, at ground level for long. Well, it will run at ground level, but whoa, 
there's a herd. Whoa, 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 why was there? Uh, yeah, and that gives for us that gorgeous as well. There's two types here. This is the this is the Jurassic Craft ones here, male and female, and then we've got the fossil and archaeology one, which are a slightly different variety. Anyway, right, so I am going to place uh, the gyrosphere over here. Uh, see, the only problem is it, it's there's supposed to be a gyrosphere station. So I'm sort of using my poetic license here, guys. The gyrosphere isn't in the station. There is the innovation center. There is a, an ideal place to put through a walkway, although I haven't put a fence to stop these. <laughs> Stegosaurus, that's my missing one. I wondered where you'd gone to. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put a sort of pathway through to the gyrosphere. Oh, gyrosphere. So I'm going to put it over here. Uh, sort of. <coughs> yeah, this so it can run around this valley. Uh, is that going to be a bit close? I think we need to put it. We can still put it through there, can't I? Can we move the trees? Yeah, I'm thinking. I think that's about right. And then it can come off. So, what I've got to do first of all is I've got to put a bit of a hill. Need a bit of a hill for a runoff, uh, and it faces this way. The gyros gyrosphere balls will come in round here, and then go out there. Let me just. Uh, Oh, let me just go up by this tree here. Let's put this down and put these. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the mound. Then I'm going to put a pen up, which I haven't got any blocks to do a pen. And then then we'll breed them, and then we'll carry on building. So uh, let me just get all the stuff together that I need, and then uh, we'll come back. So welcome back everybody. I've uh, set up this area to build the gyrosphere and you'll see it coming together because I'm quite happy with the land lies. It's not as hilly as mountainous but we've got the hills in the background. And over here, oh we haven't got the eggs. Over here I've set up a basic uh, breeding area for the Gallimimus and we are going to get them here. So we don't know how well they're going to do. Uh, we might have to... Uh, that revision there. Let me just go. Wow, 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 wow. There. We'll see if we can see if they breed. In fact, what I'll do. We know we got six, so we will just take one of those and leave the rest, just in case we have problems with the breeding cycle. So we've got six of each. Uh, so what we're going to do is breed the six of each first of all and see what happens so let's go oh I've got torches <clears throat> yeah I got torches for the fossils mod we don't need if you ever and I've separated them out this time to try and stop them eating each other uh, while they're breeding and quite temperamental as you've seen in the last few videos uh, yeah apologies all I still got that sore throat it's been about four days five days now well, there we go hope you all enjoyed <coughs> the last video on the Innovation Center. Yes, yeah, sorry, I thought so. Innovation Center, and uh, I posted some more pictures uh, on Twitter. Uh, you'll also be able to see those on my Google Plus account as well, which you can link to through the email. Right, so let's go. Shall we go? One, two, and there is some lag issues today. Uh, Minecraft updated itself earlier in the day. Six, okay. And we'll go and put the six of these in here. One. Ooh, look at those colours. Wow. Uh, three. And uh, since then, we've been having trouble on our servers. Uh, they updated Minecraft earlier today. I don't know what it is, but uh, the servers, both my servers I'm running, uh, are slowing with loads of lag. And I've just been speaking to someone else who's running a another server, and he has got the same problems as well. So it seems to be a bit of an odd thing that they've updated Minecraft servers. And then we've got problems. Oh, it's a dragon egg. Yeah. Uh, right. Let's just check that our things are doing quite well. Uh, this one is the fossil and archaeology. Ooh, we want some torches, I think. Maybe it's warm enough, let's see. Yeah, it's... Oh. Oh, they don't like it. 
I don't think they are gonna work. No. Now for some reason they are not working. So well, we better go and see these over. I bet these are working alright. This is a Jurassic Craft one. Oh. No, they're not either. Hmm. We seem to be having funny things here. Never know. Right, okay, we'll come back afterwards. We want to try something. Well, <laughs> this is the next day, guys and girls. Uh, yeah, Minecraft uh, Jurassic Park failed big style. Uh, and I couldn't work out what it was. Anyway, I'll tell you now, finally, today, about... I left it overnight, came back to it today, and I, mean, I took the world offline. That's why we can see a long way, because it's offline. I'm just going to show you. Uh, yeah, I took the world offline. I'm just going to do a quick tour. Look, you can see now where these... The ma There's the volcano over there. You can see that, because I've got it on extended. Uh, online, I can't do that. Uh, and then there's the Innovation Center, T-Rex Kingdom, uh, Margaritaville. There's the lake. Uh, now... I'm going to change the monorail to come in around the back of the hotel. And of course, we've got no hotel yet. Of course, I've got to build that as well. Yeah, wow. Uh, but here's the uh, the planes, as I put it. Uh, and to get the to get it working, uh, I had to take it offline. Uh, it just kept freezing after a minute online. The, the animals wouldn't move. Couldn't kill any animals. Uh, it was a mess. So the memory just kept getting logged up. Uh, you can see on here now, it's quite happy. It's using 57% of memory. And it's quite going along quite well, so we're quite happy. What did I do to fix it? I, well, two things. Uh, I couldn't kill any of the animals, so eventually I've upgraded to new version 1.48. Look, they're walking now, so I know it's working. And I had to kill the. Sadly, I had to kill the adult uh, Brachiosaurus, Brachiosaurus from Jurassic Craft at the moment, and it's all working. And I know it's working because the animals are now walking round. Uh, when it stopped walking. Uh, they sort of just uh, went, uh, sort of just stopped dead and faced one way. And the other thing is, if I go and take to this pig, ooh, it's like a weird pattern there. Yeah, ooh, that's because it's a block. Uh, yeah, this pig is that pig walk. Now, what was happening was, is, and it might do this. There you go. All the pigs wouldn't die for a second, so the lag was horrendous. But now they're all moving again. Uh, let's go and have a look at Triceratops. Yeah, so I had quite a few problems to say the least. Uh, I'm quite happy now it's all working. Uh, Triceratops are over here, guys. And we have three of the Jurassic Craft ones. And we have three of the fossil archaeology. Well, I do like these. I need a brown one as well. Look at the teeth. <laughs> uh, I do like these ones as well. Uh, right, let's go and see. Now, <laughs> um, that also explains why the eggs weren't hatching. However, guess what? Now I've solved the uh, problem of the lag uh, and I'm going to put this world back up online as well but it just shows you can't have too many of some of the dinosaurs and you have to be very careful sometimes see the kill there's no lag anymore I've been having lag issues for about three days to be honest because uh, I couldn't do that right guess what they've all hatched <laughs> yes they've all hatched and what are all these doing here uh, Look, all these are identical. These are the fossil and archaeology ones. Now, they do come in different colours. Uh, oh, wow, look at that. Uh, yeah, but they've now all hatched uh, quite happily. And uh, we're all right now. So, now, if I'm right, guys, I can tame... I get confused between the two mods. It's only my, it's my fault. Oh, be careful. Don't want to hit them. Don't want to hit them. Right, so, uh, it might be the wrong one, apple, now I thought the wheat was for the fossil archaeology mod, there we go. now let's just test that, now if someone said that doesn't do anything anymore, let me just go and get the, uh, the book, 
untamed, see? I do not think that is right. It is. Now I thought, so that should be belonging to me. So there we go, use the meat. This is the fossil and archaeology ones. That's two. Now I have turned feeding off, but what happened is as soon as I took this world, they are so cute, I like these. We're going to see the Jurassic Craft ones now. So I think now they all belong to, ooh, they all belong to me. Oh, there's still some there. They all belong to me. Right, let's go and see these. Ho oh, ho, look at these, there's two types, male and female. Oh, look, sitting down. Now these are apples. Yes, tamed. Shall I make it rise? Look at that! Oh, look at those! Aren't they sick? Oh! Oi! Who's it, my apple? <laughs> hey! Sit in? Oh! My apples are disappearing now. Tamed, tamed, I want them all tamed, they are so lovely, we'll see that animation again, you guys at Jurassic Craft are doing a fantastic job here, let me just see this, let me just go, sit, rise, I love this new animation, surrise, Calamanus, surrise, look at the coloration, look at the pixel art here, uh, by the way, guys, if you want to see some more of the Jurassic Craft uh, future dinosaurs that are coming, if you type in Jurassic Craft into the web and go to the Deviant, Deviant, D-E-V-E-E-N-T art pages, you will see some new dinosaurs that come in. They've got some new, oh, that's just not sitting anymore. Not sitting, not sitting. Not sitting, yeah, must not. Yeah, you can go and see their new uh, flying pterosaurs and some other varieties. Can't wait to get those into the. Oh, come on. I want you. Yes, there you go. Right, anyway, what were we going to do? We were going to build the gyrosphere after all that. What a thing. Uh, all right, okay, so. I've got this spot here and you'll see why it's quite an interesting build to say the least uh, and it is going to be interesting to do it and, you, and you'll see what I mean uh, because it's quite a basic build uh, well it's basic for me I suppose and start it in fact what I want to do is and I'm just going to bring this up here yeah this is the area which and what happens is quite funny because on the one that's there now and uh, I want to say a big thank you to Real Hawaii Tours uh, you the guy that keeps posting pictures of these uh, gyrosphere and all the items that are still in situ on Hawaii where the Jurassic World is filmed uh, yeah it's really cool to see uh, and what I need to do is this is just the base area I'm gonna this is where everybody sort of starts when they come to get onto the gyrosphere but uh, quite interestingly it's been remade in so you can walk all over it when it's filmed in the film you can see the gyrosphere is coming onto one side so the design that I'm going to do and I want to make it a bit bigger because if you think how big uh, the gyrospheres themselves are they're quite big to say the least right so let's just bring that one down and make it quite big it's going to be quite easy to build this now I'm using this coloured clay because I thought I could use just the boring grey but I thought let's make it because it's made of wood and concrete I thought I'll make the concrete like this colour it just adds a bit more more fun and the path goes off at the back which I'll come and do in a minute I just want to do the ramp uh, it's going to be a bit more I'm going to have to do the ramp in wood uh, yeah so you can go and see the pictures of the gyrosphere on a real Hawaii tours and on his twitter at real Hawaii or Real Tours Hawaii it is, Real Tours Hawaii, uh, big shout out there for you, I love his uh, Twitter feed, he gives us loads of information every day, right, okay, so the gyrosphere sort of comes round, which means it's almost going to be like a station, because the gyrosphere comes around here and then goes off, so it means that the visitors must have to go over a bridge at some point, 
And what we're going to do, well, you will wait to see what we're going to do with that. Uh, right, so that's sort of got steps down to it after that. So let me just get some more uh, grass. Oh, I've just lost a book. Uh, yeah. I just have to sort of decorate it out. Uh, oh, it's actually around the other side. It's completely, if I'm right, I'll just have a look a second. Uh, uh, let's see. And I've got a load of pictures of it. So I'm just looking what it looks like from the other side. Yes. Oh, it's the same on both sides. It's got a wooden structure at the front where they come round. So that's quite more. Right, okay. Oh. And what I'll need is, yeah, it comes around there, and then this, what I'm going to do, I'll take this out, because that'll be, that'll be about right. And then the other side, it's the same, it's actually a structure underneath, so, yeah, so that's how it is, we'll leave it like that, it's been built with concrete, and it's the same the other side as well, literally. Uh, built into landscape uh, just like that okay right because I didn't get any of stuff I need some more wood and that uh, I will come back in a second or two right welcome back uh, we've uh, I've made it a bit larger at the moment I might make it slightly larger again and also the fact that quite interestingly it goes up at the back so let's uh, start in fact what I didn't do is the area here the uh, yeah, there is a fence which goes uh, along. I just want to see what this looks like actually once you get the fence in. Because I think it might be too small. In fact, what I might do, I wonder if I can put it on there instead. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. Once we get up to here, it's fine. Uh, but also, I was looking at a pillar as well. There's a pillar there and a pillar there. In fact, it still might look alright might still might just just still might look well okay uh, what I can't what it should have on is a uh, like a, a bit on there and I suppose I could sort of put it's supposed to be a pillar that actually comes in round and comes out a bit so maybe I can do something like this instead and have it on the outside as opposed to on the uh, didn't want that let's just try something I might actually do it oh now I'm making holes now it's always when you look at the design phase you've got to want it to look like it No, it should be on it. It should be on it. No, it should be on it. Uh, okay. So we will make it part of the structure, although... Yeah, let's have a look at that. Well, guys, I'm afraid we'll have to finish it there. Yes, uh, it took uh, quite a long time, actually, to build this, so, and I filmed quite a bit. So uh, we'll be back uh, tomorrow for the next episode uh, when we finish off the gyrosphere here on my Jurassic World with Jurassic Craft, Paleocraft, and Fossil Archaeology Mod. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please slap that like button, guys and girls, and uh, we'll be back very soon with you. And uh, carry on making the comments. I'm just about holding my own with the comments, but there are loads. And please discuss amongst yourselves some of the things you'd like to see. And uh, we'll be back next time. Thanks very much, and bye-bye.